Ever wondered how to bake biscuits that melt in your mouth? Here's the secret. It's all about the ingredients. Begin with two cups of all-purpose flour, the foundation of our biscuits. Next, a tablespoon of baking powder for that perfect rise. Add in a teaspoon of salt for balance, and if you like a hint of sweetness, two tablespoons of sugar. The star of the show is half a cup of unsalted butter, cold and cubed, which will give our biscuits their rich, buttery taste. We'll also need three quarters of a cup of chilled buttermilk to bring everything together. And don't forget a bit of extra flour for dusting our workspace. Remember, the quality of these simple ingredients is key. They're humble on their own, but together, they'll create something truly irresistible. With these simple ingredients, we're ready to start our baking journey. Preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit, 220 degrees Celsius. Now, let's dive into the dough preparation we already have our all-purpose flour, baking powder, salt, and sugar combined in a large bowl. The mixture is whisked together to ensure that all the ingredients are evenly distributed. Next, it's time to introduce our cold, cubed butter. The temperature of the butter is key to achieving that flaky texture we all love in biscuits. Toss the butter cubes into the flour mixture, and using a pastry cutter or even just your fingers, start working it in. The goal here is to break down the butter into pea-sized pieces, all while mixing it with the flour. The mixture should start to look like coarse crumbs. Now comes the buttermilk. The trick here is to make sure it's chilled. Pour it into the bowl and gently fold the mixture together. This process is not about being quick or vigorous. It's about being slow and cautious to prevent overmixing. Remember, those little chunks of butter are what's going to give our biscuits their delicious, flaky layers. As you mix, the dough will start to come together. It might be a bit sticky and that's perfectly okay. If it's too dry, add a splash more buttermilk. If it's too wet, sprinkle a little extra flour. The key is to achieve a dough that holds together but still has visible flecks of butter. And voila, we've got our biscuit dough ready for shaping. The next steps are crucial in transforming this simple dough into heavenly melt-in-your-mouth biscuits. So, stick around as we navigate through the art of shaping and baking these irresistible treats. Now comes the fun part, shaping our biscuits. It's time to put a little bit of elbow grease into our baking adventure. Let's get those hands floured up and ready for action. First things first, dust your work surface with a light layer of flour. This will prevent the dough from sticking, and it will make the shaping process a lot easier. Now, gently turn out your dough onto the floured surface. We want to handle the dough as little as possible to keep it light and fluffy. Now, gently pat the dough into a rectangle shape. It should be about an inch thick, but don't reach for that rolling pin. To maintain the flaky layers we've worked so hard to create, we'll be using a technique called folding. So fold the dough over onto itself, just like you're folding a letter, then pat it down gently. Repeat this process a few more times. This will create beautiful, flaky layers in our biscuits. Now that our dough is folded and patted, it's time to cut out our biscuits. Grab your round biscuit cutter, but remember to dip it in flour before each cut. This will help to prevent the dough from sticking to the cutter. When you're cutting out your biscuits, press the cutter straight down into the dough Resist the urge to twist the cutter. This is important because twisting can seal the edges of the dough, which can prevent the biscuits from rising properly in the oven. Continue cutting until you've used up all your dough. If you need to, you can gently re-roll the scraps to make a few more biscuits. And there you have it. Your biscuits are shaped and ready to go. They should be nice and round and about an inch thick. So, our biscuits are shaped and ready for the oven. Let's get baking. Remember, we're aiming for a hot oven, a quick bake, and a golden finish. The anticipation is part of the fun, right? Happy baking, everyone. Our oven is preheated and our biscuits are ready to bake. Let's get these beauties into the oven. Baking is a crucial step in our biscuit making journey. It's where the magic happens, where all of our careful preparation comes to fruition. Remember the high heat we mentioned earlier? It's essential for achieving that lovely rise and golden color that make our biscuits irresistible. We've preheated our oven to 425 degree F or 220 degree C, and it's ready and waiting. Now let's talk about the arrangement of our biscuits. You might be tempted to space them apart, 
but we actually want them barely touching each other on the baking sheet. This close proximity encourages the biscuits to rise upwards rather than spread outwards. It's a little trick that makes a big difference. Before they go into the oven, we have one more step. We're going to brush the tops of our biscuits with a bit of buttermilk. This not only adds a little extra flavor, but it also helps to achieve that beautiful golden finish that we're after. It's these small touches that elevate our biscuits from good to great. Once they're all brushed, it's time for the oven. Our biscuits will bake for about 12, 15 minutes. Keep an eye on them though, as all ovens are a little bit different. What we're looking for is a nice puffing up and a golden brown color on top. That's when we'll know they're done. While they're baking, the aroma that fills your kitchen will be nothing short of heavenly. That buttery, toasty scent is a promise of the deliciousness that's to come. It's one of my favorite parts of the baking process, and I'm sure it will be one of yours too. After about 12, 15 minutes, they should be puffed up and golden brown. Let's see how they turned out. It's time to open the oven and behold the fruits of our labor. I promise you, the sight of those perfectly baked biscuits is a reward in itself. So, are you ready to see how our biscuits turned out? It's time for the big reveal. Let's take our biscuits out of the oven. The aroma that's wafting through the air is enough to make your mouth water. The scent of freshly baked biscuits is truly one of life's simple pleasures. Now, just look at these little golden nuggets of joy. They've risen to perfection, and their tops are a beautiful shade of golden brown. Let's let them cool for just a moment or two. Patience, my friends, is a virtue, especially when it comes to baking. Now, while they're still warm, let's break one open. Watch as it splits apart to reveal a fluffy, tender interior. Can you see the steam rising? That's when you know you've achieved biscuit nirvana. These are the flaky layers we've been talking about, the ones that make these biscuits so irresistibly good. And now, for the moment of truth. Let's take a bite. Mmm. It's like a symphony of flavors and textures. The outside is slightly crisp, while the inside is soft and tender. They're buttery, with just the right amount of saltiness. And, of course, they're incredibly flaky, which is precisely what we want in a biscuit. Okay, let's try another bite, this time with a bit of honey. The sweetness of the honey is a perfect contrast to the salty, buttery biscuit. It's a match made in heaven. Or, if you prefer, you could spread some jam on it. The possibilities are endless. Finally, let's wash it down with a sip of tea. Ah, that's the perfect way to enjoy a biscuit. Tea and biscuits a classic combination that never goes out of style. These biscuits are flaky, buttery, and they truly melt in your mouth. I hope you'll try this recipe at home. Trust me, once you taste these biscuits, you'll never want to go back to store-bought ones. Happy baking! And there you have it! Irresistible biscuits that melt in your mouth. We've journeyed together from gathering quality ingredients, through the careful crafting of our dough, to the shaping and, finally, the satisfying bake. Each step integral, each adding to the final masterpiece that are these biscuits. Remember, the beauty of these biscuits lies in their simplicity, the harmony of basic ingredients coming together to create something truly extraordinary. But above all, it's the love and passion put into the process that makes them truly irresistible. These biscuits are perfect for a cozy afternoon tea, a heartwarming breakfast, or simply a treat for yourself. They're a testament to how a little bit of flour, butter, and a sprinkle of love can warm hearts and fill homes with joy. Thank you for joining us today. We can't wait to see your biscuit creations. Remember, the joy of baking is in the journey, not just the destination. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're inspired to try this recipe at home. If you do, don't forget to share your creations with us in the comments below or on our social media. We love seeing what you come up with. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more delicious recipes and baking tips. Until next time, happy baking, happy baking.